It's the Blockbuster lawsuit making a bold claim. A lawyer says dozens of Metro Detroit gas stations were selling real Viagra, but billed it as an all-natural supplement. Viagra can only be sold with a prescription and can be very dangerous if not taken under the supervision of a doctor. But this lawsuit claims it was sold by the pill to anyone who wanted it from the gas station shelf. Rod Maloney following the story for us this evening. Rod, simply put, these pills can be deadly. Well, that's what the attorney who filed the lawsuit says. He's got another suit waiting in the wings on just that topic. But this is the stuff that he says is the offending uh, drug, I guess you could call it, these horse pills here. It's called Rhino 8000, uh, Rhino 8 and 14,000. They change the name around a lot. But essentially, they say it has Viagra in it and other stuff you don't know about. Some party stores offer products you don't often see elsewhere, these male enhancement pills among them. Los Angeles attorney Robert Toller filed nine of these suits against mostly Sunoco gas stations like this one on Michigan Avenue in Dearborn. He claims it's all about the money. On a bag of Skittles, they may make 50 cents. On a product like this, which they buy for one or two dollars and sell for ten dollars, they're making eight dollars a pop. That's why you see him at the front of the store. The product promises time, size, and stamina without headaches and is perfectly safe. Toller says it's anything, but he claims the product is made in China, and you have no idea it contains Viagra and even depressants in an uncontrolled manufacturing environment. He wants 64 stations all over Metro Detroit to take the pills off their shelves. To be clear, Toller represents an herbal supplement company he says offers an all-natural competitor that doesn't harm people. In Dearborn, they say they don't sell the so-called bad stuff. The Detroit store started taking Rhino 8 down when we asked about why they sell it. Local 4's Doc McGeorge says this stuff is genuinely dangerous. These are not FDA regulated, so people can basically mix up whatever concoction they want, and it's buyer beware. You are taking the risk. You don't know what concentration of the drug is. You don't even know what the drugs are for the most part. And also, it could be that these drugs change the dosages without any notice, and you don't know. And so McGeorge says this is a real problem. Now, we did try and get a hold of Sunoco Media Relations. They did not get back to us. And when we went to the stations and asked if we could talk to managers, they said that no one was available. We wanted to get the other side of this to see what they had to say, but we weren't getting anywhere on that. Back to you. Well, Rod, I know you talked with Dr. McGeorge. What else did he tell you about the dangers of Viagra sold like this? Well, one of the things he says is that if you're going to take Viagra, he says it's not for everybody. You have to take it under a doctor's supervision. And he said if you're on other drugs, it could mix with that and have side effects that you don't know about. So if you're taking these without a doctor's supervision, uh, you could be in for some real trouble. And uh, one of the other things that we discovered is that when we were at one of the stations, uh, one of the, the uh, people in the neighborhood had come by and asked us about it, and we told them what we were doing, and they said, oh, that stuff doesn't work anyway. Oh. So I don't know. This will be an interesting suit once it gets going. All right. Thank you very much, Rod. We appreciate it.